In this video, I'm going to share about a meditation technique most simple that I got initiated into by Swamiji and that is uh, the best thing for 2020 in a world where we live where TikTok is king. So stay tuned, we'll get into it in a few moments. Shave! Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnamodat Purnamodachate Om I welcome you with love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. In this video, I want to share with you simple meditation technique which anybody can do at anywhere, anytime. Um, it, is, it is pretty much the uh, meditation technique which is the most adapted for our times and that is one of the reasons why Avatar happens. An updated version of the truth as per the needs of the time. So depending on what time, at what age, at what time, what period the avatar happens, he molds the ultimate truths that are revealed by Paramashiva in the Vedas and Agamas and he molds them in a way that people of that specific time can um, can grasp, can understand and can live and radiate and access these truth because an avatar is basically established in the space of enlightenment and therefore he can understand and grasp and he has experienced the essence of the Vedas and the Agamas and therefore can transmit that through various ways such as initiations and uh, this meditation technique. So it is called unclutching, right? When you clutch, you unclutch. So unclutching basically refers to, we're going to watch a small clip of Swamiji shortly. Um, he talks about it. Unclutching is basically um, not allowing the chains of thoughts and chains of emotions to uh, keep on going. See, when in the normal life, by normal I mean when we live life with a certain level of unawareness, we get caught in a cycle where one thought leads to another, 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 and then like that it just keeps going, going, going endlessly. And that drains a lot of our energy and it drains a lot of, yeah, drains a lot of energy. And that does not allow us to um, focus or to be aware of what is happening at the specific moment and therefore it reduces our capacity to perform the tasks we perform properly and then we do mistakes or we don't respond to life properly and then life responds to us back so if we don't respond to life properly then this non-proper response will have an impact this impact will come back to you in the form of the response of life or people or situations around you. And like that, we get caught in cycles where we create a lot of unwanted stuff because we were not aware about the way we decided to respond to the situation in the first place or to the people in the first place or to the person in the first place. So um, so this meditation, if this, uh, if you feel connected to what I just shared, if you feel this is something that you're experiencing in your life, then this meditation is also for you. So, um, unclutching. So like I said, unclutching, Swamiji was sharing, unclutching is experiencing each thought as one and not allowing one thought to generate the second one. I'll give you an example. If you think about yellow, suddenly the thought yellow comes. Then next, oh, I have a yellow shirt. Oh, I wore the yellow shirt in this event a few days back. Oh, in this event I met that person. Oh, that person told me that story. Oh, that story was talking about this person. You know, what, how the yellow shirt went to God knows where because it links, 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 links and it ends up uh, and we lose completely. It's like pure madness when you see it. <laughs> when you see it unclutch, you see it like, what is what's going on? No, yellow is yellow. If you have the thought yellow, you unclutch and you come back to a space of eternal bliss, of pure bliss, of blissfulness. You don't allow, you don't, Allow yourself to go to the next thought. You decide, no, yellow is yellow, that's all. 
Yellow does not mean yellow shirt. It does not mean the yellow shirt I wore yesterday. It does not mean anything. Yellow is yellow and I'm unclutching from yellow. So in the same way, emotions, if we do the same things with emotions. So whatever emotions or thoughts that we generate unconsciously without us wanting to, then we just unclutch. Unclutching is very simple. You basically sit, you remember Swamiji and you say, I am unclutching. Swamiji is the embodiment of unclutching. He radiates the power of unclutching. By remembering him, you remember that it is possible to unclutch. And you remember that how it is to radiate that powerfulness that Swamiji radiates. So like that, you unclutch and you unclutch. And it's something you have to constantly, consciously decide every time. That's why now COVID-19 is happening and there's a lot of anxiety, fear, doubts about the future, worries, stress, all these things. Uh, boredom, you know, people are not doing the activities they used to do. So they sit with themselves and they might be bored or tired or frustrated or depressed, whatever. So celebrities are losing minds in quarantine. It's Sunday, it's Sunday, it's Sunday. So you just sit with yourself, close your eyes, sit head, neck and spine in a straight line. You bring awareness to the third eye. You can chant the Mahavakya just to start the process. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham and then you unclutch. And it's as simple as that. You just keep unclutching. Unclutching is a conscious decision. My experience of unclutching, it's a conscious decision. Every time you're aware that you are caught in a thought, you decide to unclutch. Every time you become aware that you're stuck in an emotion, you decide to unclutch. And like that, you constantly you constantly, consciously decide to unclutch. And this becomes uh, a way of life for you. Right now we don't. We constantly decide to clutch. One thought, I'm clutching to it. One emotion, I'm clutching to it. So we, constantly, we unconsciously, constantly decide to clutch. So we need to now consciously, constantly decide to unclutch. So it's just a, we have to break the pattern. We have to break the pattern of, of clutching and we have to create a pattern of unclutching. And when unclutching becomes your very nature, then you are enlightened. You are in the space of eternal bliss because you know how you can unclutch anything you don't want, you can unclutch from it. And that unclutching brings so much awareness to you about who you are and how you exist and what is the purpose of your existence and what you're doing, why you're doing. All these questions are so clear to you that whenever you respond to life, you engage with life, you know why you engage the way you engage. You know what you're working towards creating by doing what you're doing. So like that, this amount of clarity and powerfulness you radiate and you're never stuck in low level frequencies like doubt, anxiety, fear, depression, boredom, tiredness, all these states which are of lower frequencies. I personally um, had a great experience. I'll talk about my experience. We'll just have the quick video of Swamji now. So let's have a watch. Absolute unclutching is the extremely enlightening fuel for your life. Understand? Fundamentally, you are consciousness. What excites you, what triggers you into action, what makes you fully alive, awakened, that is your resource, your fuel. Listen, if you use the right fuel, right resource to excite you, inspire you, energize you, you will have respect for yourself. If you feed right fuel to your consciousness, that will naturally manifest as powers, health, energy, strategy, intensity, wealth, enlightenment, all the auspicious, 
all you need to do is change the fuel for your conscious prana for your conscious i tell you unclutching is the most powerful and universal whatever may be your religious background you will not have resistance for unclutching it is too easy i am so happy all over the world thousands of people are sitting unclutched they already made 441000 minutes people sitting unclutched all over the world we need to reach out to every individual and make every individual understand unclutching should be your source resource and fuel ginger will melt all the fat in the liver unclutching will melt all the karmas toxins on your bio energy you will have the most purest body and mind if you add unclutching as your fuel yes in this video swamji has shared about minutes for peace i didn't talk about it but minutes for peace is uh, is is something that is happening now so for covid-19 swamji has opened this door for everybody so the link is in the description below if you're really interested to experience that inviting you to uh, click register and join it's free it's an online thing you can join at any time of the day it's happening 24/7 every day of the week around the world and you can just join and select the time slot where you feel comfortable and you can decide to simply sit and unclutch and practice and experience unclutching for yourself and it is very important it is very important to be unclutched and to radiate the power of unclutching because like i said when we unclutch we become aware when we are aware we become powerful when we are powerful we make the right decisions for us and when we make the right decisions we don't suffer from hangovers when we do decisions unconsciously we most likely will have hangovers because life will not respond to us in the way we want but when we make decisions consist- uh, consciously and think and act and speak consciously then whatever life brings back to us automatically we will take responsibility for us because we are conscious when we are unconscious when life responds to us in a way we don't want then we we want to discard our responsibility from that situation but we are responsible so the first step is to unclutch and to regain awareness of your inner space and to stop the chain of thoughts and the chains of emotions that happens in us because it's a pattern it's been cherished for many years and it's happening some of it is is from previous lives in the bio memory some of it is in the muscle memory patterns that you have created in this life so both of them had to be discarded and you need to come back to the space of pure consciousness the space of paramashivoham i am paramashiva i am the su- the pure super consciousness so um my experience uh these days i practice uh, unclutching on a regular basis as well and um one thing i can share unclutching for me now it's really like uh i i basically realized that when i came to swamiji the main thing that i have been seeking before meeting swamiji which led me to discover swamiji and when i went to swamiji was basically I just want to be able to sit with myself for indefinite amount of time. How much time I want to sit with myself, I want to be able to just sit with myself and be blissful. If I want to do something, I do something. If I don't want to do something, I don't do something, but either way, I just want to be able to sit with myself, exist with myself without being restless, without being agitated. without having anxiety fear panic all these things i don't want any of that i just want to be able to sit with myself so unclutching was basically swamiji's way of enriching me with what i wanted because that's what i wanted just want to sit with myself so when i remembered that that yeah actually the only thing i want is to be able to sit with myself if i were to do some projects or something and suddenly like i don't know i get stuck or something is wrong i just go aside i sit i am clutch sometimes 15 minutes sometimes 30 minutes sometimes 45 minutes depends 
but you just sit with my I just sit with myself I lock my hands I lock my feet in a comfortable way and I just sit I remember Swamiji and I bring awareness to my third eye I remember Swamiji in my third eye sometimes I have my Atmalinga in my hand I'll make a video about Atmalinga again soon um, and how you can get one there's a link in the description below also it's free uh, you should get initiated and get your Atmalinga I'll give you a glimpse Atmalinga is basically a 24 karat piece of crystal which is in the form of the Shivalinga and which has a Yantra designed on it so I'll make a video about it very shortly again perhaps more in depth video for those who are interested but uh, if you don't want to wait for this video and get to know more about it check the description below there is a link about how to get your own Atmalinga so sometimes I hold the Atmalinga in my hand because it just feels great Otherwise, I lock my hands and um, and I just sit and I unclutch. One thing I can share also is the one thing I realized. Swamiji was sharing, uh, postpone, he was talking about postponing in various discourses, various satsangs. And um, one thing I realized is actually, we always want to postpone making good decisions, but we don't want to postpone making bad decisions. So one thing I started to experience during unclutching is postponing bad decisions for instance oh i don't want to wake up waking up is a good decision sleeping is not something that should be uh, cherished more than what the body needs which is very little two three hours more than that it's not needed but sometimes we feel sleepy and like oh wait wait i'll wake up in a few minutes a few more moments you know you're postponing to make the good decision but during unclutching i, I started to experience hey why don't I postpone making bad decisions? Sometimes I unclutch and I feel okay. I feel like getting up now. And I'm like, no, just do a little bit more unclutching. I'm like, okay. So I sit. And then a few minutes later, oh, I feel like getting up now. No, no, wait a little bit more. I'll do a little bit more unclutching. Okay. And like that, sometimes I, I extended my unclutching session by 35 minutes just by postponing the decision to stop doing unclutching meditation and to get up. So you can do that also and share in the comments below if you have such experience and I really encourage you to implement it in your life. Postpone making bad decisions, what you consider as bad decision. Of course, we don't want to go in this video, I don't want to talk about what is good, what is bad and all that. It's very subjective, but what you think is bad and you feel like, oh, I want to do, but I feel I know it's not very good, but I really like it. If you are stuck in that space, if you are experiencing that space, I should say, um, just postpone the decision. Postpone the decision. Oh, I'm doing liquid diet. I'm not eating food. I feel like eating food. Okay, let me wait a few more. Let me wait 30 minutes. I'll eat in 30 minutes. I'll eat in an hour. Give me another hour, another hour. And many times, uh, the moment you... That, the, that space which makes us want to sleep or makes us want to eat or makes us whatever uh, we are doing, which, whatever pattern, it's only alive for a very short amount of time. If you're able to postpone it during that lapse of time, then it goes away. Sometimes you feel like hungry, you feel like, oh my God, I have to eat something. I really want to eat some, chew on something or chew something or eat something. And then if you just say, okay, wait, let me wait, give me in an hour, I'll eat in an hour. 10 minutes or 5 minutes, 10 minutes after that, you will just forget the hunger. Everything will go away. Many times it has happened to me and I'm pretty sure it will happen to you also. It just goes away. And then 3 hours later you remember, oh I didn't eat. You know? So that small decision of postponing, of unclutching from the decision of going towards an action, it creates a totally new space in you which sometimes uh, blesses you with, uh, with much more than what you're expecting. You know, where sometimes when I do unclutching meditation, I'm expecting of sitting, okay, an extra five minutes, but I end up sitting an extra 35 minutes. So, you know, it's like Swamiji blessing me with an extra 30 minutes to what I wanted. So like that, different forms of blessings are experienced, different forms of auspiciousness are experienced by doing um, unclutching and postponing, making uh, life negative decisions. Yes, life negative decisions. Okay. So if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're really working towards breaking your addiction to meat, meat is an addiction actually. I'll make a video about my experience of that because I used to consume meat. Meat is an addiction. If you want to break, to become vegetarian or Shaiv, Shaivism vegetarianism or uh, vegan, um, 
postpone that decision of eating meat. If you're struggling, oh, I really feel like eating meat now, just postpone it. One more day, give me another day. Just like be inspired and postpone. Like that patterns get broken. So, um, so yes, that's what I want to share in this video. Um, COVID-19, check the Minutes for Peace link in the description below. Let us all do unclutching to raise the frequencies of humanity so that people do not need to unnecessarily suffer from fear, anxiety, panic, doubts, worries, um, all these things. If we all radiate a space more powerful, the frequencies that our body will generate will elevate everything around us and we can create a better life for us and for people around us and for humanity because if we all do it, then naturally humanity will shift. And it is time for humanity to shift because we are living in a system which uh, which is pretty dissatisfying. I mean, I'm speaking from my experience, but it's pretty dissatisfying uh, system. So let us work towards holding a different space so we can create a more satisfying system and uh, inviting you to listen to Swamji's discourse every day. Satsang happens in the, it depends where you are, 7 a.m. Uh, IST time zone, nityanand.tv, link is also in the description below. So with this, if you have any experience with unclutching, put the link down below. Uh, sorry, not the link, your comment. <laughs> put your comment down below. Don't forget to like, like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so that more and more people can see this video and uh, get enriched. I'll also put in the link below a playlist, a link for a playlist of unclutching satsangs of Swamiji. So Swamji has talked about unclutching tremendously, many, many hours he's talked about. And uh, I'll put the link of most of these videos in a playlist with most of these videos down below. So you can have a look and uh, get perhaps if you're seeking more understanding, perhaps have an experience, listen to these satsangs and, um, and, and be enriched and raise yourself to the next level. So that being said, thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Nityananda. Oh, I found a leaf, found my guru. Unstoppable like the big blue. Ooh, he doesn't hop around like a kangaroo. I'm sticking to him like a pot of glue. Oh, I found a leaf, found my guru. Unshakable, none can come through. Ooh, I'm touching my way to enlightenment. To dissolve in his shine in the firmament. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam. Purnamodat Purnamodachate. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam. Purnamodat Purnamodachate. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam. Purnamodat Purnamodachate. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam. Purnamodat Purnamodachate.